This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 423 of Horse Tip Daily, a different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is sponsored by Kentucky Performance Products. Visit them at kppusa.com. Howdy, everybody. Glenn the Geek back with you from Lexington, Kentucky, and you're listening to Horse Tip Daily. Well, today we continue our, we have two more actually in our spring series here where we're basically doing reruns of the tips that over the last 400 tips that we felt would be uh, the best ones that we really need to revisit during springtime. And today we continue with that. If you missed the last couple tips, you can go back and take a listen to those as well. Today we have with us Dr. Joanna Robson, and she's president of the Inspiris Equine Incorporated, and uh, she's involved in teaching the equine public about recognizing pain in their horses, and today uh, in this tip she had talked about how to check gut sounds, and of course springtime is the time that we have to worry about colic, they're getting all that good green grass, so we have to worry about colic and and, uh, really take a, uh, really keep an eye on our horses rather. So we do that. Um, we do that with Dr. Joanna Robson today. This was taken off of a video of, from Equestrian Life. They have allowed us to to borrow the tips that they do over there. So there's no conversation between us. It's pretty short, and I think that uh, you enjoy it and hope you learn something. And then tomorrow we'll have the last of the spring series of tips. You know, when I think of horse's health, I think of Kentucky Performance Products. Has your horse become cranky and sullen? Is his coat losing that healthy bloom? Is he prone to colic and off his feed? These are symptoms of stomach irritation and ulcers. You can prevent ulcers before they happen with Nalox Equine Antacid. Its unique formula buffers excess acid for up to six hours while it coats and protects sensitive stomachs. Nalox Equine Antacid reduces the incidence of ulcers and really does coat and protect that stomach from irritation. You want to take a look at this product, you can go to kppusa.com. That's kppusa.com for Nalox, and you'll find it there. Hi, I'm Dr. Joanna Robson. I'm a doctor of veterinary medicine with Inspiritus Equine Incorporated. I'd like to talk to you about how to listen or escult for gut sounds on your horse. If you suspect that your horse is colicking, your veterinarian may ask you, what are your horse's gut sounds like? Now, a horse's gut is actually divided into what we call four quadrants. The most important thing, invest in a decent stethoscope. Every barn should have a first aid kit available. One of the things you can add to your own personal kit is a stethoscope. It doesn't have to be the most expensive one on the market, but every barn should have one. It's also not a bad idea to keep one in your tack trunk or even in your truck if you go out to the barn regularly. You want to place a stethoscope with the earpieces pointed forward in your ears. You're going to divide the horse's abdomen into four quadrants, listening to the upper quadrant and the lower quadrant. And you're going to check for gut sounds on both sides of the horse. Ideally, you should hear movement or what we call borborygmus. One sound every 20 seconds or two to three rolls or waves of gut sounds within a minute. Horses that are colicking may be completely silent. You might not hear anything at all. Horses that have colitis or diarrhea sometimes have a very overactive gut sound, what we call hyperactive, constant sound, sometimes easy enough to hear without a stethoscope at all. So in review, if your veterinarian asks you what your horse's gut sounds like, sometimes you can just hear them by placing your ear next to your horse's gut, but much easier for you if you invest in a a stethoscope Take the time to listen to your horse to develop what they hear like when they're normal, and then place a stethoscope in each of the four quadrants, two on each side, to listen to your horse's gut for normal gut sounds. Well, thanks again to Equestrian Life for allowing us to borrow some of their tips here for Horse Tip Daily. We appreciate that. And this was actually taken off of Horse Tip Daily, episode number 48, way, way back, 400 episodes ago. So uh, we hope you learned something there and got something out of that. Don't forget, we'll be back tomorrow with the last of our spring series of tips. And then we'll be on to something different next week. Uh, We appreciate you being here. Don't forget to listen to the morning show, Horses in the Morning, 9 a.m. Eastern, every 
single day, Monday through Friday. Jamie Jennings and I will join you to hopefully entertain you a bit in the morning and make your mornings go a, a little bit quicker with a little bit more of a chuckle. That's all we try and do on, on Horses in the Morning. We attempt it every day. I don't know if we succeed every day, but we sure do try. And, of course, you can listen to all the other shows on the Horse Radio Network at horseradionetwork.com. We'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, stay safe, everyone. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. (laughs) 